Hello and welcome to Sprite Guard Plays Forska. This is a game that I saw on Indie Impressions and was really impressed by. It reminds me of actually some of my favorite of Van Gogh's work. It's basically a game where we just go around and explore this very impressionistic landscape. And the controls are we can move to the sides of the screen and just turn a little bit. And then we can click on a place and go to it immediately, though that has seemed a little bit unreliable to me. But it's more or less like uh, the way you move around in Google Maps. And then the third option that we have is we can go to the bottom of the screen and step forwards or backwards from down here. And that just gives us a little step that makes it a little bit more like walking around. It can be too slow sometimes, but it can be useful for if you want to position yourself a little bit more accurately. And now, there isn't a huge amount of gold to the game. It's mostly about just looking around and seeing this really beautifully rendered world, which I think it's supposed to be different every time. I'm not sure how well that works. The first time I played it, I got exactly the same generation of the game. Sorry, I took a minute to figure out even what the word that I meant was. So, the first time I played it, I got the same world, basically, that I saw on Indie Impressions. But this time, I'm seeing something quite new, and it seems like... The world is moving around even when I'm not clicking, which I'm not sure about. But this is something that I have never seen before, and I am very curious about it. It looks to be some kind of person, but I'm not really sure. It's hard to tell because everything's in this very painterly, impressionistic style that it's hard to tell what that is beyond a person. It looks like they have some kind of stick, and I can't tell that they're doing anything, but that's not something I've ever encountered in this game before. So there is something else that I've encountered in this game that I would like to show you before I wrap this up, but it's kind of a crapshoot whether or not I can actually find it. Basically, there are these portals, Ruckley Smile said they were pink, so I'm going to assume that they're pink, but I am colorblind, so I'm not entirely sure, but they're very brightly colored, and they really stand out against the background. Now, it looks like there's another light source over here. Could outrun, could leave both man and horse behind, and often, ere the race was done, he reeled and was stone blind, and still there's something in the world at which his heart rejoices, for when the chiming hounds are out, he dearly loves their voices. Old Ruth works out of doors with him, and does what Simon cannot do, for she, not over stout of limb, is stouter of the two. All right. I noticed in the readme that there was text, but that was the first time that I've actually encountered text in-game. And I don't really know what that means, but... It's kind of nice and poetic and something to think about. I'm not really sure what to make of it, though. I wonder if there is some poetry that we can trigger from this fellow over here that I was uh, looking at before, but I'm not really sure because we got pretty close to this guy already and didn't really make anything happen, so... I'm not expecting much, but actually this looks different. This looks like something different from what I encountered before, and it appears to have some kind of... Was this... Now I'm, now I'm really questioning myself and thinking, was this the piece of poetry that I was just reading and I thought it was the person? Sometimes navigating around in this world can be a little bit confusing because it's difficult to tell where you are 
My heart is touched to think that men like these, the rude earth's tenants, were my first relief. How kindly did they paint their vagranties, and their long holiday that feared not grief. For all belonged to all, and each was chief, no plough their sinews strained. On grating road no wain they drove, and yet the yellow sheaf in every vale for their delight was stowed. For them in nature's meads the milky udder flowed. So... I don't feel like I really have the ability to reflect on these properly because I want to keep my commentary kind of rolling along and I want to keep engaging with the game. My heart is touched to think that men like these, the root earth tenants, were my first... Okay, this is the one that I, I just read. So I'm getting a little bit uh, confused about where I am. Because, as I mentioned, navigation is not always the easiest in this game. Now, I saw another light source, or I thought I saw another light source, that I want to try and find again, but in the daytime, it's a little bit harder to figure out where that was. So maybe I will just wander around a bit more and just look at the beautiful scenery in this game, because that... I didn't know about the poetry at all. I didn't really know about anything other than just this game is gorgeous when I picked it up. And so I'm glad that I could discover that poetry with you. And I'm, I'm glad that you could be here for that. And I'm glad that you can join me as I explore this game and just really look at it and marvel at it. And now I'm not sure exactly where I uh, wound up here. What on earth is... Well, now I clicked on something very dark, and I ended up someplace very bright. I'm not sure how that happened. But I appear to be on the side of a mountain now. And I actually would like to go over to this mountain on the other side, and then turn around and see if I can figure out where I was, where I came from, and I'm not entirely sure, but... This is this is one of those rare games where I really don't mind being lost and just sort of wandering around not knowing where I am. This actually reminds me a lot of some of the places that I've gone hiking and just really enjoyed seeing the world from a different angle and seeing different places that I could go to and Oftentimes when I'm hiking, I will see places far off that I would like to see up close, but they're just, they're too far away or there's no path there. And so as much as I like the view, there's always the sense that I want to see more. And I feel like this game really captures that feeling very well. It really captures the sense of being in a place that is really gorgeous and where there's stuff far off that I want to see, and then I go and I see it and I just see more stuff that I want to go visit. So what I would really like to find is one of these pink things that I saw in my previous playthrough, but so far I am not um, seeing any. Now I think that if I press space, I can make time pass, and if I can get the sun to set, now let's see if maybe I can spot things a little bit better. So I see a light source over here that I would like to go to. And let's see if we can find it from here. Looks like it's just over here. And it looks like this is the uh, wandering person that I saw earlier on. So let's see if we can get closer to it and maybe trigger some poetry or just learn something about this person if we can. And there, okay, so now I actually see what I was looking for. So let's see if I can line up with it a little bit. So if I go over here and then turn this way, I don't know what color, yes, this is exactly what I was looking for. So if I turn around and look the other way, you can see that I'm just standing kind of on another hillside by this thing that is emanating light. And if I go into it, it says I'm going to world 123495. 
and it drops me out in another place by another one of these objects. And so we can now explore this place, and it looks like there is even another one of these things over this way. Though I'm not sure I can navigate my way to it. Looks like we may have gone a bit further than I intended. So let's see if we can hop over here and see... Maybe this is just light from that first gate that I came through reflecting off of the trees. That's like that's what it looks like is happening here. So let's climb up this mountain here and see if we can get to the top and maybe get a better view of the place that we're in. So I'll just climb up a little bit further and it's hard to get a sense of distance sometimes. It's hard to tell always how far away uh, whatever's in front of me is. It's also a little bit hard sometimes to tell uh, how sloped things are if there's not a lot of contrast around them. So it looks like we're getting close to the peak of this mountain. So we can just head over here and see if we can get a better view of the world that we've come into. I believe these worlds are all procedurally generated. I'm not sure exactly how they're selected. I have noticed that all of the ones that I've been to so far have had their first four digits be one, two, three, four. It looks like there's some light over here, so maybe we can find some more poetry, or maybe we'll just find our way back to the gate that we started from. I'm not really sure. It's, I mean, it's so much a sense of discovery in this game that I just love. So, I don't know why this tree seems lit up. I don't see anything around here that would be lighting it, but it could be that the sun is about to come up, though I'm not sure. It seems too dark for that but I can't see why this tree... Sometimes the trees are just bright. Sometimes the trees just seem more lit up than everything else around them, so that could be the case as well. And it doesn't look like there's any light sources around here, but it does look like the sun is coming up, so that will give us a very different view of this area. I thought I saw some light over this way that I wanted to look at, but... With the sun coming up, it is much harder to tell what I'm looking at and where I would want to go. But these are just some gorgeous views that I just so love so much. This is, I mean, I, I feel like I'm kind of, I'm starting to feel like a broken record. Like I just keep saying how gorgeous this game is without saying much more, but that's kind of the limit of what I have to say about this game. So I think I'm going to actually wrap it up uh, for that reason. Because I think that I've really hit the limit of what I can say about this game. This game is free, so I do recommend that you check it out. I will put a link in the description for you to go and see this game for yourself. It's very simple and it doesn't really have that much that I can find beneath the surface. Maybe there is, though. Maybe there is more to it than meets the eye. So if you discover anything, I would love to hear about it in the comments. If you have any thoughts about the game in general, I would love to hear about that too. But most of all, have a great rest of your day.